Hey guys, Old School Brian here, and today I got a package to show you, and I'm excited to announce that this is my first package that's come from overseas. Um, I've gotten package from the United States, Canada, but this is my first, like, really, like, far away. Um, this package comes all the way from Portugal. Um, <laughs> I took it somewhat apart. I haven't gotten in it yet, um, just because I, I just thought it would take a long time on camera, and it did. It was like 20 minutes just to get the box half open. But um, I'm doing a trade with a fellow YouTuber, uh, Lumberjack Z, Lumberjack Z, I believe. Um, he contacted me after my trade video, and for the record, everybody that's contacted me, I will get back to you. Um, I just got such an overwhelming response. I'm like, it's just, it was really hard to keep up. I was surprised that that many people would contact me. But um, so we worked something out. He had some things that I really wanted. Um. You know, this is something I really want to get into, uh, getting packages from other places of the world, because um, you all know me, I'm a collector of everything, and uh, there's so much things that are out there that are like really cool stuff that you can't get in the United States, or you can get them on eBay, but they're just costing an arm and a leg, and um, this, I was fortunate to get this, this is a really cool item. Um, and I traded away some NES games that are actually very hard to get in Portugal. So, um, you know, it worked out. So, yeah, definitely something I want to get into is some international um, packages with people. Maybe trading things that you can't get there. You know, all kinds of like candy, stuff like that. Um, I think that would be cool. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right, I'm going to open it up here. And... Um, it's got a little bit of packaging in here that I will have to get off. But uh, so first up is a copy of, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but um, I believe it's Sudek Sudeki, Sudeki. So that's it right there. Uh, this is a promotional copy, not for resale. And to be a hundred percent honest, I've never gone through all my games, but I don't believe I have one of these, and I don't remember ever seeing one. Um, that it shows right across it promotional. So I thought that was very cool. There's something on my head. What the hell? Um, and got the game inside. So very cool. Happy to get that. Next up is the disc is out of the thing. I heard it. Uh, next up is Jade Empire. Um, Lumberjack Z had a bunch of these games that he's looking to get rid of, so if anybody's interested in them, um, go ahead and go over to his channel, check him out, and see if he's got something that, you know, you would be able to, uh, you would want. Alright, next up is, I got a couple of Master, Sega Master System Portuguese Purple games is what they call them. So the six Portuguese purple Sega Master System games consist of first one, Desert Speed Trap. Second one, um, I'm gonna say Zul, S O S. Uh, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Don't really know what it says. It's in Portuguese. It looks like. And the last one, which was a bonus item, is My Hero. I'm very happy to get these. I've never seen. Portuguese purple games before if I have I never noticed it um, but you can clearly see if you're a Sega Master System fan and you collect for you can clearly see the difference between these and the games that you're used to looking at um, these two are kind of good examples they're much more plainer looking um, it looks like they did it, it just looks like there's more work I believe it's the same um, picture it's just they put the purple in and stuff like that and they also put a picture on the side the spine that shows you know the game and then it's got written they're just more colorful um very cool looking though and i've never seen it before so thank you lumberjack z because <laughs> i'm gonna have to find them all now because that's just the way i am so i'm gonna be keeping an eye out for these and definitely pick up uh the rest of them, I don't think there's that many, so it shouldn't be too hard to track them all down. So the last item that I got is what I was really most excited about. As soon as I saw the picture of this, I knew I had to have it. Um, it's something I've never seen before. 
Um, and I thought it was unique, and I love getting unique items, um, whether they're worth a dollar or, you know, $500, I really don't care. Um, but my collection, I really like to find unique things that other people don't have. And I'm sure some people have this. It's just not something you would find, and I'm sure most of them were just thrown away. Um, but this is for your old school guys out there. And it's a 1530 data set unit model C2N. Um, very cool. Made in Taiwan. Uh, Commodore written across the front. And here's a better look at it. So you got your box right here. And we'll open it up. And when I opened it up before, I opened it up once. I didn't take it out yet. Um, there was two games in here. Uh, NBA Action 95 for the Mega Drive. And Ariel the Little Mermaid for the Genesis. Um, I believe these are extras because I didn't ask for them. I don't know if they were in there and you didn't know about it or, or whatnot. But, you know, again, very cool. Thank you. Um, awesome extras. And we'll get into the data set unit. So, I'll take this out. And you got your unit right here. So, basically... The short, an short answer of what this was used for is it was used to convert the computer digital info to analog sound and vice versa, kind of like a modem. Um, what I'll use it for is just something looking really cool on my shelf. Uh, this is compatible with the Commodore computers, um, compatible with the VIC-20, which I do own. Um, I don't think I would ever hook it up and try to use it because I don't really know anything about it. I probably will hook it up with my VIC-20 just for kind of like a display. Um, but you know, very cool. Kind of reminds me of the like the cassette, cassette type things that they used to have in schools when I was younger before CDs and all that stuff. Um, they'd throw a tape in. But yeah, very cool. I'm sure most people, a lot of people that subscribe to this channel never even really saw a tape player. So to see one of these now, these were very popular. I also, I know a little bit about it. These were very popular in Europe, overseas. Um, they were popular in the United States for a very, very short period of time. Um, quickly, they just died out, replaced with better uh, floppy disks, stuff like that. And um, in Europe, they were used a lot more and very popular. Um, and that's all I know about. I'm not going to bullshit. But uh, yeah, all in all, very cool. Very happy to get it. Can't wait to uh, hook it up and see what it looks like next to my uh, VIC-20. So again, Lumberjack Z, thank you very much for the trade. Very awesome of you. I hope, really hope that you enjoy your package. I'm really trying to send you over some really cool stuff um, that, you know, like you said, you can't find over there. Um, everybody can go check them out. Um, he doesn't really put up any gaming videos or anything like that, but definitely an awesome guy. Very kind. Uh, he really packaged this extremely well. Probably one of the best packaged things I ever got. Um, all in all, it took me probably 25 minutes to unpackage it. But uh, yeah, very cool. So, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. And thanks for watching, and I will see you later.